Magic Escafandro. Shua, Shua, Shua. Wow, Shua. This game reminded me of a tragedy that happened to a British ship. The Titanic was designed to be the safest ship of its time, but it ended up hitting an iceberg and it sank. Did you know that sunken ships can be used as homes for various animals in the ocean? Hi children, my name is Ayara. I am a research biologist, and today I will tell you about shipwrecks. Shipwrecks are vessels that sank purposefully or through some accident. In addition to harboring many marine species, they have stories about them. Among the animals we find there are fish, sharks, turtles, squids, octopi, and many others. There are many stories about the shipwrecks, such as the shipwreck Keimadu, for example, that wrecked after a great fire, and until today, we can see coal residue next to it. Besides the historical importance, these shipwrecks are important because they serve as a shelter of a great diversity of marine life. They are also sites for the development of research. My research is about the wrecks of Paraiba, where I evaluate the diversity of fish associated with this structure. These wrecks can be visited in diving activities and attract visitors from the entire world. Another thing I like to do on my days off is to play my marine memory game. When I play on my own, I like to use a sand clock to make it more interesting. Hmm. Speaking of sand, did you know that there are a lot of animals that live on the sand of the beach? That's right. Not only are there seabirds that feed on fish, and turtles that bury their eggs for their babies to be protected, there are also crustaceans, such as the hermit crab that live in the sand. While I play my memory game, you can listen to this story. Entries for the Crustacean Ball Championship were already open. The sand crab team would play against the hermit crabs and the muscle crowd was excited. Sea urchins were responsible for the security at the event. They were there so that no fan would invade the area of the game. Seagulls rehearsed every day for the opening show. They worked very hard so the choreography would be perfect. Finally, the big day had arrived. Opening of the event was scheduled for one hour after the baby turtles left their eggs and went into the water. Mr. Fiddler Crab was the judge. With his big claw, he signaled the whole game. The sand crab started well, but they had to retreat because of a wave which invaded the playing area. But they were not discouraged because they were already used to it. The hermit crabs also played very well, and the result could not be any other way. They tied. The fans liked the result because to them what mattered was the fun they had. I managed to finish the game before all of the sand ran out. Huh. The last card was the seahorse. You know, a lot of people think the seahorse is a weird looking fish. But if you're like me, you think he looks fascinating. 
but that isn't important. What is important is that the seahorse needs to continue existing. Seahorses are very special animals. As well as being beautiful in the way they swim, they look like sensitive animals, but they are actually very strong animals. They use their tails to attach themselves to algae. They live in environments that are in need of our help today, such as mangroves and corals. The most interesting thing about these teleost fish is that the males are the ones who get pregnant and they keep all the seahorse babies. Often, they can generate up to 400 baby seahorses. We need to preserve seahorses. I'm glad to know that there are still some people to help preserve the marine species. You, your friends and teachers, together can make projects to also help preserve the marine species that are threatened with extinction. Okay, that's all. See you next time.